with your CIG TV News update. I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us as always. Tonight, seamen are getting a reminder from the Ministry of Community Affairs. The deadline to submit their seamen continuation certificates has now passed. Officials say that to date, approximately 30% of the certificates are outstanding. Now, the documentation, along with an affidavit of income form, is required to be filed by former seamen who are seeking to continue receiving an ex gratia grant from government. Now, confirmed certificates, along with an affidavit of income forms, must be submitted by the 6th of September, that's just in a few days, to ensure continuation of benefits. Payments will be suspended from September the 26th of this year for persons who do not return their forms by this date. So this is a very important message for our seamen out there. For more information, you can contact the ministry at 244-2424. That's 244-2424. And for more details on this story, you can go on to government's Facebook page. Meantime, Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin continues his tours of various departments under his ministry. The Premier recently stopped by the Sunrise Center in East End, Caribbean Haven and Breakers, Children and Family Services in Bodden Town and the Francis Bodden offices. Again, the visits are being conducted so the Premier can get to know his staff, hear about their purpose, concerns, challenges and accomplishments. Now in some sports news, Cayman Islands national record holder and University of Missouri recruit Alex Pasquale has won the gold. Uh, he did that on Saturday in the javelin throw at the 2013 Pan American Junior Championships. Now this report in from the Cayman Islands government sports office that Pascal uh, throw, his throw was 722.82 meters. That breaks his own Cayman Islands record by nearly a full meter. His record breaking throw came on the fifth of his five attempts in the competition. He beat the second place finisher Barbados's Craig Janelle by nearly 3.5 meters. This has been an extremely incredible year for the Caymanian thrower, so says the press release, bringing home two goals and a silver medal at his three competitions. All right, as always, before we go, remember government's Facebook and YouTube pages. That YouTube address where you can check out the latest in our news update is CIGOVT Info Services. The Facebook address is Cayman Islands Government for all you folks out there who are always on social media. Of course, that is to get the very latest in a community and government news. Don't forget as well to tune into Radio Cayman's Talk Today show with Sterling Dwayne Ebanks. Uh, he will uh, be talking to some important people in the community, as always, and bringing you the very latest in, uh, in information as well. And don't forget their open line over on Radio Cayman on the Talk Today show that, again, starts at 1215 daily. You can call that line with your comments and questions. And that ends our news update for today. I'm Donna Bush, as always. Thanks for watching CIG TV, and bye-bye for now.